Hi everyone. Hopefully I am live. I'm trying to be live anyway. Uh, I am about 13 minutes late and that's because my internet was acting wonkadoo and I was slow tonight getting started. So anyway, I'm hoping that somebody will pop on. I'm going to give everybody a few minutes just to see that I'm live and uh, everything. And so I hope everybody's having a fun day Monday. This is Rhonda Gibson with Gibson Girl Stampers. And uh, my business name is Cards for Christ, so I have it live now. And um, I'm hoping that it will be sharing on my Gibson Girl page as well. I'm going to see. Um, it doesn't say that it is, so I don't know how to share it to my own page. I guess that's something I need to learn. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to wait a few seconds couple of minutes maybe see if anybody pops on um, today's been one of those crazy days I am trying to get uh, my card classes out the online classes I want to thank everybody that has joined it I'm gonna say hello even though there's nobody here that I can see I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say hello and um, oops maybe get around the right thing and uh, that way, when people do come on, maybe I can get to see what they have to say. So it is Monday, and it's almost 6.15. If nobody shows up here in a few minutes, I'll go ahead and start. And uh, hopefully they will. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to have to have a drink. Hello, Miss Stacy. How are you tonight? Hmm. That was my hot drink. I kind of want the cold one. There we go. Hear the ice? I'm squishing around. How are you tonight, sister? We are going to do um, free as a bird tonight, one of the free as a bird cards. So I'm kind of excited about that. And um, I'm trying to give everybody just one more minute. I was late coming on, so, you know. <laughs> Better late than never, right? So, anyway, I was late because I was having trouble getting dinner going and all of that stuff. Oh, how did she do? That's exciting. Was she excited? Was she nervous? Oh, I'd love to know. I, that's pretty exciting. Okay, well, while you're... Typing out an answer, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to lower the, the camera down. Hopefully it won't be too jiggly wiggly. Bringing it down. I want it to be about right there to start. And um, first thing I'm going to do is show you what the special is for the rest of this month. It is place a minimum order of $35 before shipping and tax. Um, and I have between Tuesday the 6th and the, and August the 10th. I actually extended that, so it's going to be until like the 29th. So I'll give you an extra week or so. Anyway, and you will receive a Stampin' Blend marker of your own. So these are the Stampin' Blend markers. This is what they look like when they come to you. And this is what they'll look like when they come to you from me and from Stampin' Up! also. So uh, anyway, that's my special for right now. And... Um, whew, I am warm. I'm going to bring this back just a little bit, get away from my special, so you can see what I'm actually working on. We are going to be using Free as a Bird. I see there's a glare. Let's, there. Is that better? And so we're going to use Free as a Bird, and we're going to use uh, the DSP paper, the Designer Series paper. And we're going to do just a little bit of stamping, and our stamping is going to be... Uh, thanks for being you. So we're not doing a lot of stamping, just a little bit, and we're also going to stamp this flower. Okay? So I'm glad she did well. I knew she would. She's a she's good. She's a good little volleyball player. Then our card is going to look like this. And uh, this paper, the brown, is actually from the Magnolia DSP. And I needed something that I thought looked kind of woodsy, so I went with it. 
The paper that I used was Petal Pink is your foundation. Then we used the wood from the um, Magnolia. Then I used a small piece of designer series paper from the, um, what's it called, Bird Ballad? Yeah, it's called Bird Ballad paper. I had to look on the side and cheat a little bit. And we're also, I took and I also cut out one. And then uh, this is a dually that I had gotten. So I'm going to show you guys how to take a dually that's white and make it your own. So that'll be kind of fun. This is a scrap piece of the petal pink, and this is a scrap piece of Whisper White. We're going to be using petal pink marker, and I'm using the Stampin' Rights. So we're going to use the petal pink, and we're going to use the um, Calypso Coral to do our coloring tonight. And as always, we will have out our Wink of Stella, because I can't do anything without Wink of Stella, obviously. We're only going to use one stamp pad. It's going to be our stays on, and I chose it because uh, once it's on, it stays on, and it, it's watercolor resistant. So I think she'll do, I think that'll do good. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, ay, ay, ay. here's our, I'm going to put this up here. I always put it in front of me so I can see it. But this is our paper. It was cut at 8.5 by 5.5 and, and then scored at 4.4. Four and I used my fingers like I always do. I like to use my bone folder and just crease it down. Give it a good crease so it'll lay fat, flat when I'm ready to use it. Then we're going to use, um, I think I'm going to use, I'm going to have to move that out of the way because it's in front of my, my tool chest, my toolbox. <clears throat> I'm going to use the snail tonight. And we're going to start with, let's get this over here where I can actually reach it. We're going to start with this piece of DSP, which I said was from the Magnolia Lane. This is the other side of it. I um, <laughs> I really hate to cover it up, and I really wouldn't have to if I didn't want to. I could use that side. You know what? I think I'm going to use that side. Just since It's just something fun to do. So, hello, Miss Jeannie. Glad to see you here. Thank you for stopping by. We are making, I don't know when you popped on, so I'll show you the card real quick. We're making this card, and I just made the executive decision to use this piece of paper. This is one side of it. This is the other. I thought I would try it this way. It might, you know, I'm, maybe I won't. I think it'll be too busy if I put this piece of paper on top of it. Just too busy. So we'll go back to the original plan of making an executive decision. Go back to the original. But I do like this paper, too. I think it's very pretty. So anyway, we're going to cover this up. I'll have, oops, no, that was right. Why is it not working? There we go. Just didn't have the pressure I needed on it. Thank you, Jean. I'm glad you like it. I like the bird ballad set because it's kind of versatile. You can use it for birds. You can use it for just the flowers. You can use all of the sentiments. The sentiments are really, I think I'm running out of this tape. It's probably part of my problem. It's really giving me a fit. Um. Okay, one of the things I'm looking at right now is I'm trying to decide which way I want these grooves to go. And I'm thinking I want it to go like this. So anyway, it has sentiments like, we're the best of friends, which is one of my favorite sayings. And I actually put that on Crooked, so we're going to say I did it on purpose. Uh, it says, hello. It says, the world, me uh, the world needs more of you. Thanks for being you. Thank you. And your friendship means the world to me. I love all of those because it's a friendship type thing. Okay, now what I'm going to show you guys, which I think you're going to find really cool, is these are our um, pearlescent um, dualies. And actually they're called pearlized dualies. Pearlescent. What was I thinking? But I'm going to show you a, a big one. A full one, but I haven't cut yet. Come on, come out. Okay, and you actually get 24 of these in a pack. But can you see the shimmer? I'm hoping you can see the shimmer. Let me know if you can or you can't. But what we're going to do is I'm going to move these to the side. And what we're going to do is, or what I'm going to do, is I am going to color the back side. I tried to color the shimmery side, and it just wipes off because it's pretty and it's shimmery. But I wanted to use the other side tonight, so I took my petal pink marker, and I'm fixing to mess up my 
my paper here. That's what it's here for, right? And I just colored the back side of it like this. Okay. And if I didn't tell you that brown paper that I got that was from the Magnolia, that is cut at four and a fourth by four inches. That's this piece right here. Four and a fourth by, um, I mean, five by four, excuse me, five and a fourth by four. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. That's what happens when I try to color and talk at the same time, right? So, anywho, color, color, color. I love to color. I usually don't like to color this fast, but I'm trying to, to get this done so we can move on to the next step. Okay. And you can, the more you go over this, the darker it gets. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the more you go over it, the darker it gets. But I don't want it too, too dark, so I'm just going to kind of leave it, I think, like I have it. And if I wanted to shimmer this up a little bit, I could use the Wink of Stella. Okay, as you can tell, it's kind of wet because it's kind of curl on me. So we're just going to poke it down. And then I'm going to get this piece of paper, which is way too big. So I'm going to get my trimmer. I don't know what I was thinking. It is two inches by, and it's supposed to be two by four. And I might have actually put away the piece I cut and kept this one. Who knows what I did. We're going to go with that. Don't you like the way I have that trimmer just right there handy? I do it all the time, so I needed it handy. And that trimmer is to make everything else over there fall, so we're going to fix that. Okay, it's going to go like this on my paper, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put some strips here of this. And then I'm going to take my, my, my dolly that I just colored, and I'm going to, you can do it either way. You can do it where you can see it. And press it down or you could have just laid it flat but see I just put it on the side there I kind of like that and again this is going to be this card I want it to be a little bit more crooked than the other one so I'm going to put this all in crooked you know if you make a if you make a boo-boo you just keep him keep going and it turns out okay now my dolly doesn't need any because it's not going to come up and you know because I'm going to put some more stuff on there too so there's that. Then I took mercy on you guys, and I this is designer series paper also, and all I did was cut this out. And so let me show you what it looks like, because I do have my packet of paper here. I was going to show you what it looked like. This is what well, this is what this side looks like. And you can see I've been cutting it out, but isn't that pretty? It's got some gorgeous ones there. And if you want to see, I figure I might as well show you. These are the design, these are the papers that are in the bird ballad. There's more birds. Pull it back just a little bit. There's more birds on that side. There's the polka dots on this side. This side is striped. More birds. There you go, more birds. This one is kind of interesting. It has keys. And I'm not real sure what keys has to do with birds, but there's flowers on this side, which I think Miss Kincaid would probably like. So that is pretty. This side has uh, this side has bird cages, and this side has feathers, which Stacy likes the feathers, and um, so that's kind of cool. This side is more like seagull type birds, which I absolutely love that. And on this side is the paper that we're using here, uh, the, the strip that I just cut again. That's that paper. And then on this side, you know, guys, you tell me what you think these are. I want to say they're little chicken feet, but I don't think that's what they were intended to be. I'm really not sure, but they are cute. And then this is more birds on this side for you to see. So that's the bird ballad uh, paper, and you can get it. In the um, six by six, I think it's, it's already cut to six by six. I cut all my paper down to six by six so that I could put it in this. This is like my my DSP um, paper that I just I know I can go to it and see what I have, and I love it. So anyway, our item number is one four nine five 
0.92 and it's eleven dollars and fifty cents for a six by six packet and you get four of each one of those pages so you get quite a bit of paper there guys and it even when you get it it has this piece of paper on it and it tells you what they go with what colors you know you can mix and match so if you're not good at mixing and matching papers that's perfect okay back to our card sorry about that had to share so what we're going to do is we are going to take and we're going to pop this bird up he's a little different than the other one he's he's got more brown in him the other one has more yellow and we're just going to pop him up and when I pop him up I mean I'm going to take my dimensionals and I'm going to pop them on the back I love 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 dimensionals they're fun 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 and I, I've got big ones and then I have small ones too if you don't have the small dimensionals and you only have the big ones that's okay you can cut the big ones in half or cut them down to size that you need uh, I just like having the little ones plus the little ones oftentimes come in the paper pumpkin so because I subscribe every month I always have both small and large so oh be careful don't want to tear it see I was yakety yakking and guys these little pieces of paper they are everywhere they I find them all over my office I even had some in my chair in the living room the other day because I dropped it on my pants and then it went in the house with me and oh well that's my story and I'm sticking to it oh I already pulled that one and you don't have to make your card the way I'm making mine this is just what I decided to do how I decided to design it you can design it any way you want to we have one more little dimensional I think I got that one yeah okay so now what I'm going to do, because I put the dimensionals on him, I can actually pop him up. And as you can see, he is off the card just slightly. Just slightly. So, so far that's what we have. Now, um, now we need to do our stamping. And we're going to do a little bit of coloring, a little bit of stamping. What I have here is a 2 inch by 2 inch piece of scrap paper that I'm going to stamp. Um, thanks for being you and uh, I'm using the stays on ink like I said earlier and I'm using it because uh, it dries fast and, and when you're coloring I could have used the memento black since I'm not actually coloring on this but when you're coloring it doesn't let you um, it doesn't let it run so I'm going to use it for that then I'm going to take I almost put my lid back on it. You put your lid on the stays on really fast because it, it will dry out really fast. And I'm just taking my little scrap piece of paper. Voila, there's my little flower. I'll clean those off later. I don't use my sh Simply Chamois with that one, with the stays on. I just have some stays on cleaner, which looks like this. This is the stays on Stampin' Up Cleaner. And I simply put it on my, what you do is you put it on your, your thing here and then you can just wipe it off with uh, a baby wipe or if you wanted to use a, a towel you could just remember though that stays on means it stays on so you don't want to put it on a rag that you want to keep forever or, or a nice cup towel now we're going to use our Calypso coral and I'm going to color and I feel like I'm shouting tonight but I think it's because my air conditioner is a little, little louder than usual do I sound like I'm shouting to you I'm going to say, I'm going to type real quick, hi, just so I can move up the, the comments and see if anybody else is there. And Stacy, would you mind sharing this to my group page over there at Gibson Girl Stamper? Because I'm afraid that it's not feeding over there. I don't know. But it would be nice if it was in both places and they could find me if, they can't, if they're lost or if I'm lost and uh, everything okay as you can see I'm just coloring I colored that really fast you could take your time and highlight it and everything I'm blow drying it because I want to put my Wink of Stella on it you know me I gotta bling it up and something I didn't do to the other card that I could do is I could put a little bling on my bird too and make it really pretty now I'm going to grab the paper snips and the nice thing about this little flower is it's pretty <clears throat> it'll be really pretty easy to, to cut out really fast um, 
you just kind of move your paper. Don't move your scissors, but move your paper. And it doesn't take nearly as long when you do that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and chop it there. Uh, there's another gal. She's from Australia. And she loves DSP paper, but she says, crop it, chop it. And she's, because a lot of people, because it's so pretty, we want to hoard it. You know, we think, oh, that's so pretty. I don't want to use it on that. I'll save it for something special. And then when, when it's time for them to give us new designer series paper, we have all the old because we've been saving it. So, excuse me one moment. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now I've got that done, and I need to, I'm going to just get this trash out of the way, and I need to take, I want to make a little banner. You see the little banner here? I'm going to show you how to make a banner. You probably already know, but for those of you who don't, all you do is you find your center, and I'm not always the best at finding the center, but you find your center, you clip right down the middle like that to about where you want it, then you come to the corner and you clip and you pull it off and then you come to the other corner and you snip. I'm still getting used to this. That side's a little bigger than the other one, but I think it'll be okay, don't you? So then what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some snail on it or my double-sided tape on it. Come on, get on there. And then I think I'm going to put it down here on this one, just a little further down. Lay it out. And then I'm going to take my little flower. And you can actually take your petals. And if you want to really curl them, just snip them just a tiny little bit. Not all the way through or you'll snip them off. And these are super, super sharp scissors, so you don't want to snip them too much. But once you do that, you can kind of bend your, oh, that one needs to be snipped on that side just a little bit without tearing it, then you can just curl them. You can curl these little petals and make it come in, and it makes it like a 3D thing, which is really cool. And then I just take a baby dimensional. My big dimensionals are trying to jump off the thing. And you know what? I think I'm going to put it right over here. Last time I put it on that, I think I just want to kind of set it off here on the side. And... Put it right on top of that dimensional. And this is this card. What do you think? Which one do you like the best? I did two. And so you can just take and kind of, and when you when you actually, if you mail it, you can just send it flat, you know, just flatten it out. Or you can give it to somebody like this. And there you go. What do you think, guys? Which one do you like the best? Waiting and waiting. Everybody's so quiet tonight. My goodness. Just so, so quiet. That's our card for tonight. Like I said, we mainly use the, the uh, DSP, the Designer Series Papers. We use the doilies, the pearlized doilies. Then we use scrap paper. Oh, would you like to wink of Stella up? Where'd it go? I lost my wink of Stella and I just had it while ago. Huh. Well, oh, I see. It rolled over there. You could take this and you could make your bird just a little shimmery if you wanted to. You guys know I like my bling. I'm just shining up his little belly. and Maybe the top of his little head. But isn't that pretty? I just love it. I think these make the best cards. And I made one in less than 20 minutes, guys. Took me maybe, what, 10, 15 minutes to make one? And that's because I was yakety-yakking through the whole thing. So I'm going to go down, let's scroll down and see if there's any comments. Thank you. I want to say, I'm not sure how to pronounce your first name. Is it Aaliyah? Is that how you say your first name? I hope so. I don't mean to butcher it, and I apologize if I did. Um, it's a beautiful name written out. I, I love it, but <laughs> I just don't know how to say it correctly. Anyway, those are our two cards tonight. And uh, guys, if you're interested for the... You could buy the, you could place your minimum order of $35 and get your um, 
X, you get a, a thing of Stampin' Blends. And the host code, I'm going to move this down just slightly so you can see it. Here's your host code here. It's AJGQM7BA. And that's for any order of $35 plus shipping and tax. And I will give you a set of the markers for free. So there we go, guys. Anything $35 or more, you get a free set of markers from me. I'm going to go ahead and raise the camera back up. So if it makes you dizzy, say something no. Okay, I'm going to raise the camera up. And see if I scoot back a little bit if that'll chop my own head off here. <laughs> Can't have that. So anyway, okay, now I'm going to scroll and see. Um, Love Shimmery. And that's right. Great. Yay, me. I got it right. I'm so glad. Um, anyway, that's what we're doing right now. I want to remind everybody that now is the perfect time to join Stamping Up uh, for $99. You get $155 worth of product, and you get to choose whatever you want. So um, that means if either the Christmas catalog or the regular catalog. And normally you do $99 and you get $125, so you're getting $30 more right now. Plus they're giving you $10 coupon for next month, and you'll be able to um, order your first $10, your first order, you can have 10 extra dollars. So that's kind of cool. And let's see, is there anything else I need to tell you? I told you about the markers. And... Uh, Anyway, I would love to have you as a customer or as a team member. I like both. When you become a team member, you also get a 20% discount on everything that you purchase. And if you join right now, you get to be a demonstrator from now until January. If you're a hobbyist, that means you can order your own things. You can get whatever you want, and it's 20% it's 20 off of that. Uh, if you're a business person, Again, you get 20% off, but when you make your first $900 or you sell your first $900, I should say, then you get to be bumped up to a bronze elite and your discount becomes 25%. So it's all good. And the nice thing is, as your team leader, I don't pressure you to be either or. You can be whatever you want to be. Uh, we are starting team meetings. I'm pretty new at this myself. And so we're starting team meetings on Friday at... 6 p.m. We're going to have our, I think I put to 6 p.m., our first meeting. It might be at 10. I'll have to look and see what I wrote down because I can't remember now. But we're going to have our very first meeting. I'm going to show you guys how to use our um, website and stuff like that because I do have at least one member on here that's my on my team right now. So, anywho, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If not, I'm going to say this Gibson girl is going bye-bye and you've got about minute and a half to ask anything you want to, okay? I would love to hear any comments. Hi Beth, I'm so glad you, ma <laughs> you made it. Thank you. Did you get to see the whole thing or did you just arrive? This is the card we made tonight. And this is the one I used as a sample to show you what I was making. So we used designer seri paper and we used the uh, uh, pearlized Lilies. <laughs> and then I was telling everybody when they order $35 or more, they get a free set of uh, Stampin' Blends combo from me. And that's these. So they're alcohol based. But anyway, so thank you for that compliment about my hair. I appreciate it. And um, I don't know if there's a whole lot more to tell you. We've had a busy day today. I actually ordered pizza because I was too lazy to cook tonight. So. That's always fun. So anyway, well, guys, I'm going to let you go because I don't see any more questions or comments. So until next time, this Gibson girl is saying bye-bye.